So you got to create a situation that they get a glimpse of life without the mind. Life with no mind. So when the person gets that glimpse, oh wow, wait a minute. I am functional. Actually, I'm even doing better in this life without thinking. When I'm more quiet, I'm a lot more efficient. When I'm not dwelling in the past or in the future, life is good and I love myself and I love my life. So you have to give them a glimpse of that. And once they trust you, because it's this so foreign, it's such a foreign thing to say to someone that you're not your thoughts. What do you, what do you mean I'm not your thought, my thoughts? 60 years, 70 years. This is the only thing I know. Who are you telling me I'm not my thoughts? Because the mind will come and rebel. And it says, because the mind knows that it's getting close to death. Because I'm coming after it with my big ninja sword. I'm coming to cut the head. And the mind is going to get really frightened and comes up with all kinds of excuses. But the key is that we have the training. We're learning the new language. It's like we're learning how to write A, B, C, D. How to write. You're, you're going to learn French. You're going to learn Arabic. You're going to learn a new language. So you have to put time and energy into it and keep practicing to learn the new language. It requires training. We have to get trained. So a part of the training is to manage the mind, but not by the mind, not by positive thinking, by observation. Being able to fall into this place of the observer who is observing the thoughts and creating that distinction. Hopefully we have been able to do that in a much shorter period of time and helping our participants to recognize that. Some catch it quicker, some are slower, but we have created a system to do that and learning how to master the mind. And mastering the mind is A, to be able to watch it, to be in this position of witnessing it. So now when it does its ugly stuff, you create its separation because you're holding back, you're in this observation state and you're not identifying with it. So it's doing its thing, but you're not, you're watching it. And you gotta get discipline in it. And it's not like one time I come and tell someone to do it and they just say, okay, because the mind will grab him out and pull him into identification. And that's one of the reasons whatever workshop I design is to point, point you back, bringing your attention back into the source to identify with the witness, not what is being witnessed. Because what is being witnessed, if we buy it, it drags us down to the gutter. It takes us into suffering. And that's one of the main reasons I created the life training program. Or whatever program I design is to manage the mind. Be able to come on the top.
and not buy into its stories because it's full of stories. And some of the stories that it will create, they sound great, they sound real, you know, but it's a story. It's illusion. It wants to sell you something which is not real. And it's very convincing, and it's been doing it. So it creates misery. Well, we're not going to let that happen no more. It's been happening for thousands of years and not here. Here, we're not a slave to the mind. We're the master of the mind. And we learn to be on the top and then the mind becomes a great servant. It will serve you beautifully. It wants to serve you. It just never had the chance because no one from the childhood ever taught us anything about this. Thank you for bringing it up, my brother. It was a great, great sharing. I appreciate it. Okay, I have a question. I resonate with all of that. Mine... Anything, anybody? I. Uh, hi, Karen. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. Likewise. Uh, yeah, I just, I just want to know uh, you were talking about uh, when you were uh, telling this uh, uh, different examples on the past, right? Yes. Then you mentioned uh, then you mentioned this uh, this trap that when you're gaining spiritual powers, right? And that then I just uh, uh, wonder if you can clarify. Do you mean uh, that uh, if you use the spiritual powers uh, without being a, a pure channel, or what do you mean with that? It's a trap. Right. Yeah, I, I get it. I understand. Um, it, it's, it is a part, it's, let's put it this way. It, it's natural and it's normal for some spiritual seekers to come across spiritual power as you are on your path to awakening. But, and it's okay, you use it naturally because it's your newly acquired power and it's very exciting to be able to do healing work on somebody or to be of help and service the part that is dangerous is if most people they identify with it as their personal power so it reinforces the I thought that I would come and say I'm going to heal you oh look at me look at me I healed this person I healed that person and look at me I'm almighty I'm all-powerful I'm a great healer versus denying that power as person as personal power and saying it's God God, the Spirit, is doing the healing through me and not taking any credit for it. Now, internally, you're not taking any credit for it. It's not you doing it. It's the, the Great One is doing it. So as long as you're clear with that within yourself, then you're good. But the moment you think that it's you doing it, you're in trouble. So I've had, I don't know if you heard me, I had a lot of people, many, many times people 
have asked me if I can heal this person or I can heal that or whatever. And I always say, I don't have any healing powers. But I know of one who has. So as a person, I don't have any healing powers because that's true. But when I'm not a person and I get out of the way, then that which is the healer comes to me, through me, and does the healing work. And that now, on a practical way, that doesn't mean if you've done healing on someone and they got healed, and they want to thank you, you don't say, oh no, don't thank me. Or you may say, okay, thank God or whatever, but they're feeling a lot of gratitude towards you. And you say, yeah, you know, they're thanking you and you accept it. You say, you're welcome, my pleasure. But internally, you know, down deep, it wasn't you. And that's where I'm saying it's dangerous, not fall into that trap. But I'm not saying don't use it, and I'm not saying don't enjoy it. But don't take it personally. Okay? Does it answer your question? Yes, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Very well. Well, we have come to the... I do have a couple of comments here. But no one's asking me a question. Okay. All right. Very good. Nice to see you all. Uh, our next academy is going to be next Wednesday, same time. So obviously our time in California changed. So right now the time difference between California and most parts of Europe is nine hours. You're nine hours ahead of us. So we're good. Um, as far as uh, the time confusion that we experienced a couple of weeks ago. Uh, next week, we do have the Academy on Wednesday. We have a shamanic healing circle on Thursday. And then the workshop uh, begins on Friday morning. It's going to be from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. California time. Uh, which I believe is going to be from, what is it, 6, six to 10? Yeah, uh, 18 to 20 uh, European time. So I, if you feel compelled to join, join us, uh, you can contact us. Uh, either uh, go on our website, which is zaratustra.tv and click on that go to the calendar event and then you see the workshop and you can sign up there or, or um, write to us if uh, you need help uh, my email is info at zaratustra.tv if you have any comments any questions or any suggestions you're welcome to write to us I would appreciate it. Try, uh, best way is if you write to us as an email. Um, I, I, we do, we check out everything on Facebook, but if you want a quicker response, best is to write an email to us. Info at zaratustra.tv. I send you my love and light. I look forward to seeing you. Oh, by the way, before I forget is that we just uploaded uh, a bunch of new episodes uh, on our podcast. My podcast is Zaratustra 5D, same as my YouTube channel, uh, Twitter, and that's how you find me on Facebook as well. I look forward to seeing you next week. God bless. Namaste. And have a wonderful week.